Hi guys, wanted to highlight a really quick and easy way to find amazing guest post opportunities um, by looking at competitors. So this was a strategy that was highlighted by uh, Veronica um, on our team. Uh, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So finding competitor guest post opportunities. So why is this so effective? Um, we know that you know any blogs that our competitors are getting links on, they'll be fresh. Uh, we know that they'll accept guest posts. So instead of us creating a prospect list of 200 sites, um, many of which might not even accept us, might not even respond to us, um, and some of them might, you know, might not even meet our criteria. They might just be old, old pages that we've used by finding search operators. Um, they, the sites might be rubbish, basically. Um, and our competitors have already done all the hard work for us, so we're only finding opportunities that our competitors have already sites that they've already landed guest post on. Um, so we know these sites are going to be receptive to guest posting. So it just cuts out so much time and effort from finding sites that might not even accept us. So what we're doing here is just finding sites that we know accept guest posts because we can see that our competitors have landed guest posts on those sites. Um, and here's how to do it. It's so easy. All you need is Ahrefs. Um, and all you need to do is input a competitor website into Ahrefs and scan their link profile and find the opportunities. Um, and usually they're really easy to spot. Um, so we don't actually need to use direct competitors. We just need to use relevant websites. Um, and again, we just input them into Ahrefs and check the link profiles. So I'm going to show you um, a few ways that we can do this. So um, er uh, Veronica found this site um reich.com which does a ton of guest posting um so what veronica did was plug them into ahrefs um and exported their link profile so we can actually you'll once you start really looking into it um you know into what kind of topics they're getting links from you'll see really obvious trends the types of uh page titles or post titles that people are using for guest posts are just quite easy to spot. Um, so once you, once, you, once you start looking into it and getting the hang of it, you'll really be able to spot them a mile off. A ton of them actually use numbers in the title as well. So what Veronica did here was um, sort the page title. Um, so she's sorted the page title um, from A to Z. And what that does is it'll put all the titles that has a number right to the top. So you can actually see here there's like, this this website reich.com um which is like an online um work management solution basically it's kind of like trello um you can see that they've actually done a ton of guest posts so just here we can pretty safely say that they've probably got like at least 35 40 guest posts here and like you can just pick a few out here and you can easily recognize that they are in fact um uh guest posts um, let's find some other ones. Do, do, do. Task management. Ten ways to make your team more productive. This is almost certainly a guest post. Uh, but you know, you can, you can you can cast your eye. Oh yeah, infographic brought to you by Reich. So yeah, this is obviously a a guest post as well, um, or a guest contribution. Let's see. <clears throat> Nope. Live plan. This is almost certainly, definitely a guest post. Actually, cool, man. So yeah, that that that's one way to do it. I'm going to show you another example here. Um, so this is masonfinance.com, another site that um, Veronica highlighted. <clears throat> so if we <clears throat> plug them into Ahrefs, and this is all you need to do. So you want to search on the left hand side to backlinks. Just give a second to load up here. One link per domain. Uh, you only want to find live links. You don't want historical old links. And you want to just go for do follow as well. And then the final thing that I like to do as well, I like to just sort here by first scene. So this is just going to give me the links that have been published um, most recently. 
so yeah, I mean, straight away we can see obvious guest posts here. So six unusual things you can sell for extra cash. That's a hundred percent a guest post. Um, let's see four ways you can prepare for retirement. Again, definitely an obvious guest post. If you look at the articles, you'll be able to tell. They might not all have. This is this is a a, a very good point actually. They they won't. In fact, they a hundred percent won't all have. Um, like none of all, in fact, a lot of them won't be identified as guest posts. So they won't say, um, you know, this is a guest post by such and such a Mason finance. Um, probably because quite a few of these links are, are paid for as well is the complete honest truth. Um, so Mason finance have probably paid, uh, these websites to, to, to publish the post. So again, here's staff writer. There's going to be no indication that it is a guest post, but it's just really, really, really obvious that it is. Um, you know, you can just tell by the anchor text and the, you know, all of the other links are either going to internal pages or huge authority pages like Forbes. That's a really big indicator that it is a guest post. Um, what is a viatical sound? Uh, yeah, again, pretty targeted anchor text. Obviously, this is a guest post. So I'll just go through right now and just show you some that are guest posts. Definitely guest post. Definitely guest post. Definitely guest post. Three golden ways to know your finances. Yeah, because they're going to these same pages as well. So they're obviously targeting certain pages with links. So you can tell their guest post. This is a guest post because I know this site. In fact, that's a sponsor post. Five ways to ensure you get the job you want. Again, as, there, as Veronica mentioned, um, a lot of these will have numbers in them as well. H Tribune, that is, it's not got a number in the title, but that is definitely a guest post or sponsored post. Stop living paycheck to paycheck with these financial tips again. Definitely, I, I think pretty much ninety percent of this site's actively built links um, are going to be guest posts or sponsor posts. Again, this one is as well. So that is a really easy way to find sites that we know are going to be receptive one way or another um, to us getting links on them. So, and then let's just put in right dot com, which is the first site again that. Um, Veronica highlighted. And again, the easiest thing that you're going to be able to do here is just do an export. Um, I mean, you can go to Ahrefs and pick the sites out one by one, or you can just do an export, scan down, remove sites that are clearly not. Um, oh, shit, this is, this is uh, that was already organized there. Let me just uh, go back again. So again, because this has got 8,000, to follow back links is going to be harder because this site is probably going to have a lot of natural links as well. Um, so it's going to be slightly harder to differentiate and just understand which ones are the the um, actual guest posts and which ones are just like natural links. But for certain sites like Mason Finance, it's going to be way, way easier to tell which ones are guest posts. Um, so yeah, that's just a really easy strategy, um, which you can do in any niche. What I would do is just find four or five highly performing sites in each niche um, and just look through the links and try to find trends on, on where we think that they've, they've done guest posts already. Um, as I said, it just saves a ton of time. Usually the sites are already going to be vetted um, by them. As I said, our competitors have, have normally already done all the hard work for us, which is the most attractive part of this. We can just scan their backlink profiles and pick out the opportunities that we want to reuse for our site as well. Um, so that is that uh, strategy in a nutshell and how, how to do it. Um, again, this is just an export from Ahrefs that Veronica has like sorted and filtered by, um, you, you know, she's filtered that to, to, to find um, articles that start with a number, but they won't, you know, you're not, guest posts don't have any rules when it comes to the topic. So this is gonna, these aren't going to be the only guest posts they've done. I mean, if you scroll further down, uh, guaranteed that there will be like guest posts um, in here that uh, you know relate to or are guest posts. Um, you know they don't just have a number in the title, but they're going to be done here. So you do have to look further than just the numbers, but it, it is a good place to start um, because tons of people just have like you know numbers in the titles, whether it's you know six go to project management tools or great uh, content planning tools, whatever it is. Um, Where's the link in this one? Let me just see. 
I can't see it. But anyway, that is the strategy in a nutshell. I think it's pretty clear and easy um, and can be used for any campaign.